Hi, welcome back. My name is Rebecca, never Becky, and today I am talking about one of my favorite shows, guys, Insecure. I am falling more and more in love with this show, and I think the last episode that just aired is a prime example as to why you should be watching Insecure if you're not watching Insecure already. I mean, there is a feud going on between Issa and Molly now. I'm involved, and I definitely want to get on here and talk to you guys about friendships and who team are you on? Are you team Molly? Are you team Issa? Who's right and who's wrong in this situation, guys? I can tell you right now, I'm team neither one because I'm too, like, I don't know, I just need to know more before I can take the judgment. Um, but I just wanna know, like, you know, a couple of questions, like, you know, is it inappropriate to text, like, or email or contact your best friend's boyfriend to get a business connect? I mean, is that inappropriate? I mean, there's just so many questions, guys. Let's just get into this video. Okay, guys, I wanna talk about the show Insecure. I just watched the episode that just aired not too long ago. Um, there are so many questions I have, and I think it's so valid for me to talk about it because I'm sure every woman has been through an Issa and a Molly moment in their life, depending on what age you are. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little primer stick again, guys, and I'm gonna prime my eyes. I am basing my theme today on the shirt that I'm wearing, guys. I actually just love the colors. Nothing about this shirt in particular. It's just the color of the shirt that's really nice, so I wanna kind of create, you know, and this shirt inspired me, so I'm gonna create something, right? That's what we're doing. So, um, you know, just going back on the show, guys, I love Insecure, I said it before, I'm saying it again, Insecure is my type of show. I feel like when it comes to Issa and Molly, though, their relationship, their dynamic, I'm not really sure what the super underlying issues are. It just seems like as of right now, Molly's not getting the attention she wants from Issa. And, you know, from what I can kind of take from it, it just seems like maybe, you know, because Issa hasn't been consistent in her, you know, her life, she's not shown that she's responsible, she's reliable. So I don't know if Molly's just feeling like I don't want to help her. Um, and this is only for people, uh, sorry guys, if this is only for people who have been watching Insecure, you guys have followed the show, so I'm sorry if you guys are not into it, hopefully you will get into it after this, um, after I'm done telling you guys like how good this show is, and there's just so much you can honestly take from Insecure, um, like I was saying, like, you know, Molly and Issa's relationship is, it's definitely making at least me open my eyes and say, wow, you know, is that what friendship comes to at a certain age when you're trying to do something bigger than just be someone's friend, when you're trying to start your career? Does things get sticky like that? Like, I, I mean, granted guys, I honestly can say that I don't have any friends that would go that far as far as Molly did, but I also understand Molly and I honestly, I'm not picking sides with them. I am not picking sides because I understand both of their point of view of how they feel. So I'm not picking sides with Molly. If you guys are picking sides with Molly and Issa, please let me know, are you team Issa or are you team Molly? I wanna know, let me get back on the side. Um, I'm just very curious, you know, how this is gonna play out. I just, I, I little, on the low, I feel like Molly's a little over the top about how she feels, but you know how TV shows are. They do everything just to kind of reel you in, so. We'll see how it all plays out, but you know, I wanted to just kind of come on here and ask you guys some questions. One, have you, if you have seen this show, have you ever been in that situation? Again, depending on how old you are, and if it's happened at an early age, definitely leave me comments um, below, guys, and letting me know what happened. Um, I just, I don't know, I honestly can say, I just didn't know where to, I, I felt about it. Like, I was like conflicted myself. It's hard to choose sides because when you're talking about someone that's trying to start something that they love and they're no longer just taking a job, you know, you're gonna you're gonna do some stuff, you know, and, and piss some people off in the sense of, if you're going behind someone's back, and I'm talking about Issa, in the episode, she reached out to her best friend's little boo, new boo, to get, you know, a plug. And I feel conflicted because I'm so on Molly's side, like, why didn't you hit me up? Like, why didn't you tell me? Why would you go behind my back? And then I feel Issa, like, bruh, like, one, he's your new boo, it ain't like y'all been dating for years, so how are you gonna tell me not to hit him up? 
I feel like if you're talking about goals and, and some stuff you're trying to do that's important to your community, it's like, yeah, I'm not, why would you want to stand in her way? So I feel Issa, like, you don't want to help me? Well, I'm not going to literally help. I'm not going to literally ask you. You asked me not to ask you, so I'm going to ask your little new boo thing. Now, I feel Molly, where she's like, you shouldn't have crossed that line. You know, I feel her. Like, if y'all are not in a good space, you have no business talking to him. And it's and on top of that, you don't have your own relationship with her, her new boo. So it's just, it's sticky. I don't know where I stand. I'm curious to know what you guys, you know, if you saw the episode, um, if you guys saw the episode, tell me how you felt. Like, were you team Issa, were you team Molly, or were you neutral? I'm neutral in the situation. I honestly can say for myself, like, I just, I feel both parties. Cause I, 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 I would say for me, yeah, I, I'm a YouTuber. I would do what I need to do to get where I'm going, but I don't want to step on anyone's toes or disrespect anybody. So I don't know. It is so hard because it's like when you got passion for something, you, you'll do some stuff, man. You'll do some stuff to make some things happen. So I get the grind. I just, I don't know, guys. I don't know. The show is so interesting to me, honestly. I'm loving every inch of this show because you know, Issa and Molly, they're not like little girls, you know? We're not, they're not in their early 20s, or was it, late teens, early 20s? They're not, they're not in that age group, you know? They're older, and this is a new adventure for both of them, and I feel like it takes trust, and I feel like, at least for their, their situation, they need to trust each other more, and I think the trust is a little bit gone from one another and in its own way. Cause I feel like Issa made her bed, she's lying in it for sure. But she's also bringing herself, you know, she's bringing herself back up and she's trying to better her situation. So I feel Issa like, she's like, yeah, I have been through all this stuff, but now look where I'm going. And you want to stand in my way, you rather see me fail than to just do this one thing. God, it's just, oh, it's so hard, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with these colors. I told you guys the theme is my shirt today. So I'm just gonna do these two colors here on the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this nice fluffy brush and I'm going to just start slowly. You heard how slow I said that? That's how slow I'm gonna take this color because this can get away from you. Y'all know how I feel about when the color get away from you. It's like, what do you do at that point, right? So I'm just slowly distributing out this color on my eye. I'm not rushing it. I'm taking my time. I'm also blending it out as I go so I don't have to go back too many times and do a lot of blending. So that's all that I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna completely cover the eye so you guys can see that the eye is completely covered with this color and I'm gonna take it all around. It's just gonna be a nice little color by the time I'm done blending and adding 18 layers of it. I'm gonna be so cute after this, guys. It's gonna be a lot of makeup fallout. I'm a little afraid I, because I didn't put like um, setting powder underneath my eye, I may have some fallout, but I'm gonna try. I don't know why I want to, but I'm going to. It's happening. So this is what I'm doing, and I'm just gonna add more as we go. But again, guys, I just wanted to bring, you know, this up because I just found the dynamic of their friendship very interesting in the sense that, you know, I'm not sure, to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure where the dilemma when it comes to Molly and with, uh, Issa, like, why is it such a big deal that she can't, you know, get get the homegirl hookup? You know what I mean? Like, you put in that many years with somebody, I don't know. I personally feel like, yeah, you're you you are kind of old to that because it's like not old. I, I think that's the wrong word, but it would be a nice gesture, I should say, if a friend helped you out. Are they obligated? Absolutely not. But I just feel like with Issa, it was just such a big milestone in her life. Why would you want to be in her way? As a friend, I wouldn't want anybody to be in my way or be a reason as to why I didn't get where I was going. So I feel Issa in like going the route that she did, but I do feel like she was definitely out of line 
if your friend tells you not to do something or you know kind of find your own way of doing stuff and you still go and use their connect i can feel isa on that like yeah it's gonna be irritating but i wouldn't have got as mad as isa got or not isa but as molly got like i wouldn't have got mad i'm gonna go in with this color guys and i'm gonna just basically even out any harsh lines that i left with that color and mainly with this why i can see the issue so i'm just doing that and then i'm just going to take a little bit more and i'm just going to wipe off any excess that's all just any unnecessary i just want to give it like a little bit of shimmer as you guys can see i don't want to go too crazy because i really do love the color by itself but i just feel like it is missing something without shimmer and this shimmer on top of it is perfect because it's not so loud that it takes away from the color so I like that now that I'm done applying that coat I'm gonna go in with this lighter color and just go in the tear duct of my eyes I don't know how any of this is turning out I'm just kind of winging it guys so we'll see so I'm just gonna add it right here I just want to liven up this look a little bit and I like to add in the tear duct of my eyes because I feel like if I don't, it looks very um, one note is the best way I can describe it. It just doesn't look lively. It looks very dull. So I like to just add just a little bit of shimmer in the tear duct of my eyes anytime I'm doing a full matte look. Now again, that might be my thing because that's just what I like to do. You don't have to, you can keep it definitely how it is and be done. I mean, I, I personally would, but I just feel like I wanna take this creatively further. What I'm actually gonna do right now is then take my flat brush from Morphe and I'm gonna take the that matte color and I'm gonna bring it down. That's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm just gonna bring it down and connect it. So I'm pretty much done here. I had added my falsies. I did my lashes on the bottom. I'm putting on Chestnut from MAC along with Darren Lee Nude from Maybelline. I'm obsessed with this color, guys, I told you. And so I'm just gonna do what I did in my last video and just do a nice nude lip. All I really want, because my, my eyes are already doing a lot, I really don't want to like, interrupt or kind of like it be too much on the face so I'm just gonna stick with nude and it's gonna be a matte Xerily nude just so you guys know it is matte it has a matte formula but you will need to re reapply but that's totally up to you how bright you want it so I'm gonna go ahead and take Too Faced Diamond I'm now gonna go ahead and just use the flat part of my brush I'm going to now just sorry guys this hair um, I'm just gonna now go on the apples of my cheeks here. And I mean, you can make any express facial expression that you're comfortable with. Sometimes I like to look a little uh, confused and constipated. Is that that look? Did I do it? So this is what I do when I just kind of want to like make sure that it's kind of being distributed out well. I'll even go up. If you want, guys, let's just be a little more risque today. And let's just bring it up over the brow just a smudge and we're off you guys see that look at that like can you guys see the reflection it's so hot it's so hot guys it's so hot i shouldn't smack my lips it's actually very disruptive i will do better next time i'm gonna put just a little bit on my nose as you guys can see just that's it just the apple of the cheeks. I'm not gonna do any blush this time. I feel like because I have these beautiful colors going on, I don't really feel the necessary need for it. I just bronzed, um, I bronzed a little bit and that was pretty much it. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this look. I feel that it's pretty good. You guys can see where it's going. So I'll be right back. This is the finished look. I loved creating this look. I hope you guys were able to like keep up with me. I know things get a little crazy on my channel, but you guys still be here. So go ahead, subscribe while you guys are still watching. But to go back on Insecure, guys, seriously, like 
I just don't know about their friendship. I don't know if this is something they can get over, but if this was like your life, honestly answer me guys. Like, do you think that Issa or Molly is right? You guys let me know in the comments below. This one definitely took me by surprise. You know, I think it's a it's not a normal topic that you hear about, you know, women in their 30s and not getting along or them just having different opinions or their lives separating. I think for me, this struck home a little bit not for like any crazy personal reasons, but it's just like an eye opener of what to expect. You know, when people start changing, it's just like, you're either gonna be on board with that person or you're not. And if you call them a friend, I think, you know, you really gotta know what you consider a friend. And for me, I feel like, Molly and Issa, their relationship is definitely mendable. It's not like it's not mendable, but it's just also like, you know, adjusting to the new way that their life is going. That's all that it is. And I think they are just having to find that middle ground. Also, I do think that there's some underlying issues between Molly and Issa as far as like now that she has her new little boo, you know, Molly has a new little boo. So I don't know if Molly is just like, you know, wanting her friends to be more involved in her life and she's just not getting that support. And maybe she's just lashing out because of that. I mean, it's very possible. I felt like the last couple of episodes, you know, Molly kept trying to express, you know, the turmoil between her new relationship or at least the guy she's talking to and Issa was just too busy for her. So I think that is the case, but we'll, we'll let you guys judge, right? Well, I don't, I can't judge. I'm, I'm middle ground with these girls. I love them both and I think it's really hard to choose a side because I feel like they're both valid in their own ways. Anyway guys, I've had enough. I know you guys have had enough of me talking about Insecure. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much for you guys clicking, subscribing, and getting me over 400 um, subscribers. You guys are amazing, amazing, wonderful people, and I appreciate you guys watching me. I appreciate you guys subscribing, sending people my way. I am not, not paying attention to that. I also want to add in this video, guys, don't forget about the giveaway. In a few days, I will, will, I will be announcing the winner. I'm keeping a very close eye on everyone so you guys get in there please don't stop um, subscribing to my channel and um, tagging me on Instagram and following me on Instagram as well at the real Rebecca green that way you guys can be a part of the giveaway if you're new to my channel please be a part of this giveaway it's pretty awesome guys I want to kind of reveal a little bit of what's in the box so maybe in my next video, that's what I will do for you guys. I'll reveal everything that I'm giving away and you guys should definitely get involved. It's definitely gonna be a good one. I, I, I'm I very picky about the things that I buy, so I'm gonna be very picky about the things that I give you guys. So I do appreciate you guys again for watching and see you guys in my next one. <laughs>